New for Crosslink 2013 is the Restricted Forms Setup screen. With this utility, you have the ability to restrict the forms that can be added or edited by an assigned access level. For example, with a checkmark in Restrict Edit, any access level that is not allowed to access restricted forms will not be able to add information directly to the specified forms. Instead, you will need to add the information to the unrestricted forms. For example, to add income to a 1040, you must use an income form such as a W-2 or a 1099, etc. To get to the Restrict Forms Setup screen, starting from the Work in Progress screen, click on Setup and choose Restrict Forms Setup. Then choose what forms you would like the access level to be able to open or edit, and select the level of restriction to be applied to that form. The choices are Full Access. This is the default for every form and requires no check marks. Restrict Edit. This will restrict any access level not given permission to all forms from being able to directly edit that particular form. Restrict Add will restrict any access level not given permission to all forms from being able to add that particular form. You can do this to all federal and state forms. Once you have your forms set to either Open, Restrict Edit, or Restrict Add, you will need the ability to bypass these settings in the Access Level Configuration screen. In this example, let's look at the Access Level Administrator. My Administrator, or Admin Level, should be able to do any function in Crosslink, so I have included the Access Level, Access Restricted Forms. But if this level was under the Access to Select column, then I would not be able to access the restricted forms past the level defined on the Restricted Forms Setup screen. As you can see, my Data Entry level can add a new return, open an existing return, access appointments, preview a return, and access quick reports, but does not have permission to bypass the form restrictions that I have set up. Therefore, if a user with this level tries to add information directly to one of the restricted forms, they will get this error. And new to this function is the Restricted Fields setup. With this utility, you can allow access to forms and yet still restrict specific fields. Let me show you how that works. Let's go into a return and look at a 1040. If I wanted to give somebody the ability to edit the 1040 directly, but not a specific line, say line 47, the foreign tax credit, then I would right-click into that field and click on Lock Unlock Field. Verification will come up asking me if I'm sure that I'd like to lock this field. Since I am, I'll click Yes. And when I go back into Setup and Restricted Form Setup, and look on the Restricted Fields tab, I can now see that the Foreign Tax Credit line has been locked. And if you would like to remove the restriction from a field, you can simply go back into that field, right-click, and tell it to unlock the field, or go to Setup, Restricted Form Setup, click on the Restricted Fields tab, place a check mark in the box next to the form you wish to unrestrict and click on delete. Again, this has no bearing if the login is granted access to all forms and fields. For more information about this new utility in Crosslink, please feel free to contact Technical Support or the Crosslink Manual.